Hello and welcome to this video. So today we are testing FSD beta 10.1. That's version 2020.4835.6.6. So um, this is a dot one version um, release. So we had FSD beta 10 and this is a dot one that came through recently. So we're gonna put it to the test. We are going to go through a city loop. So I have a predefined loop that I've been doing since uh, FSD beta 9. We'll see what kind of improvements we can see through this um, this new version. I, uh, As a reminder, FSD doesn't make the car fully autonomous. It is a driver assistance feature and I'm in control at all times. So if I see the car doing something uh, strange or abnormal, I will be um, I will be uh, taking over and I will be reporting that to Tesla. The way that I report it to Tesla will be through this button here. I will make sure that I report it in a moderate manner. So I um, will report things that are quite obvious. Um, and if I don't report them on the video, I will report them offline afterwards. So um, we'll see what, uh, what we can come up with. So let me reset the the destination will go to the first waypoint that I have set up as a favorite um, and is uh, we'll probably need to move forward a little bit just so the GPS will recalculate okay here we go so we can engage here and start um, this is a quite a long route it's about eight miles in total so what I'll do is I'll probably split it into different uh, parts so you guys can enjoy a smaller uh, videos and we'll do different parts of this drive. I will be adjusting the speed manually. I feel comfortable around 20 miles per hour. Um, so here's a dual way. There's a car on the right and no, it's going for it. It shouldn't go. So I'm going to report that. We have a truck on the right. Um, so that's, that's one first disengagement here and we'll continue our route. Um, yeah, so I'll adjust the speed according to my comfort. Um, so I feel like 20 is a good speed for me to take over if needed. We come to this stop. Uh, this stop I used to have issues with the curb, but uh, the placement of the car now is fairly good. It is going more to the left or um, to avoid that curb, so it is a bit tricky so all we have to do is wait until the left side is clear it is clear now but we have cars in front of us there's a pedestrian on the right and he is is he gonna cross yes he's gonna cross so let's wait we have nobody behind us so we can give it enough time to go okay it's going I was pretty close to the curb, but um, eventually we did complete the maneuver, which is fine. Okay, so we're moving over one. One lane on the left, which is fine. This part of the drive is under the L, which is the Chicago um, train. So we want to just test some of the shadows and see if that has an impact. You also have some construction on the right, and at this at this uh, stop, we'll make a left here. It is going a, doing a good job at um, the stop and making sure that it's our turn. Okay, so we'll be next here. Let's see if it picks, it has the timing just right. We arrived after that white car. It's waiting. Projection path is aiming towards the opposite lane, which is not so good. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, we could go now. There is a pedestrian crossing. Cars behind me getting impatient, so I'm gonna give it a tap. Okay. I'm gonna give it a tap and we'll go. Okay, so let's see. It went on the opposite lane. I'll let it correct. Okay, and it is correcting. Okay, I'll report this one. And 
Okay, I'm reporting this one and we'll set up the next waypoint. Nobody behind us. Okay, so the next one, I'm gonna go down to 20. This is where we have that road closed on the right-hand side right here. It's closed uh, for the restaurants. Let's see if, um, if it handles it and if it's able to go around it. Projection looks good. It is planning on going around it. And no, yes, maybe. Yes, it is, yes. So I'm gonna give it a tap. We are in the middle of the intersection. So I just wanted to proceed. It is, to, yes, it did it well. It is a bit slow, but it did complete it eventually and it did safely without heading straight into the road close. So that is a big change from previous versions. Okay, we can go now, there's nobody in this. So we have a series of stops here. Let's see, there's another car that is waiting for, yep, its turn. They're proceeding in front of us. And off we go. So after this uh, traffic light, we should be able to have um, at the next stop we'll proceed on the right side in previous version we were very close to that curb at the, the stop over there so I'll, we'll see if the car is behaving slightly differently on this um, updated version we have a pedestrian crossing traffic light is green good the car waited that's good let's take a look here so a right turn here at this stop it is moving a little bit more on the left which is good sign yeah no it is getting confused and it is um yeah it, it got really confused we were close though it was aiming for that it was trying to move on the left more before it can um do that turn so that was promising we're getting close we are getting close to complete that that's good our turn to go okay so that's waypoint number two completed let's get to the next one we have a car behind us so I'm gonna pull over right here so we can let that car go all right let's go to the next waypoint here oh the car does not want to go so we'll go all right stick to 20 20. These stops are usually easy and we're pretty good on previous versions. Perfect. It's wobbly a little bit left right, but we are still within our lane. That's fine. That's a left turn here at the stop. Okay, it is. Yeah, it's completing the maneuver. It's not as confident as I would want it to, but no harm. Let's see at this next stop here. It is stopping completely, which is fine, which is great actually. Let's see how it handles the next one. The previous run we had with FSD Beta 10, it was kind of rolling those. Oh, I was too harsh on the on the steering wheel so that was my fault okay let's go to the next waypoint here and that's waypoint number four again it's moving the steering wheel is moving to the left which is great and it is Yes, it is turning now more comfortably around the curbs. That is good. It looks like it's doing it more often than before. I would have to review the footage of previous versions, but it is reassuring, that's for sure. And he's proceeding through this. Oh, it's still slowing down a little bit. It is um, getting confused with this kind of odd um, turn here but it eventually it does complete so I'm gonna reduce a little bit the speed here we're gonna go 20 
let's see we have some speed bumps coming up these are usually in previous version they don't they're not detected so let's see if it does reduce no it doesn't so i'm gonna break here this is a quite a big speed bump so i want to make sure that we um we reduce the speed not to um to go full speed on on the speed bump so let's take a left here and it's letting us go so we'll go and it is picking the wrong lane and i'm gonna have to correct that and apologize to that driver so i'm gonna report it it um yeah did the maneuver well but it then it uh, at the end of the turn it was um it was kind of aiming for um for the opposite lane so okay let's see here uh, again i was too we were too close to the curb for my comfort um so i took over it's um it's really i've I'm ha i've been having issues i don't know if it's me or the car that is too close to the curb and maybe it's me having that impression but um from for other curves or other turns it is not so stressful and so closed so i really would like it to be always the same constant and in this case you didn't you saw it like the car didn't move on the left to take that turn you it, it just uh, went through the the turn straight away so um no improvements there at least on that one specific turn we go have pedestrians here crossing we have a stop car is making it harder for everyone this is quite a tight yeah that's good so we were um the way that the car was positioned we were making the opposite car kind of um, try to, to squeeze into a, a smaller uh, space, but uh, eventually did complete. So we'll stop here for this part of the city loop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did subscribe to the channel, we'll make sure that um, you'll be notified when uh, we'll do the next part of this, uh, of this test. And um, I'll see you at the next test.